And when we hear you say things like um, there's a rise in um, substance use and abuse in Nigeria, we hear numbers like 15 million, we're hearing one in um, every four drug user is a woman. Those sort of th things scare me. 15 years to 65 year old uh, users or abusers of substance, you know. So why do we have these large numbers? And what is the plan towards helping eradicate it or reduce it? The, the statistics are very worrisome, as you have said. Our kids, youths, families, communities, indeed the whole society, there is no community in Nigeria today that there is no drug abuse problem. Mm. It's everywhere. In addition to that, it propels criminal activities. The Boko Haram insurgents, the bandits, terrorists, all of them use drugs. We have empirical evidence of this. Now, from the UN uh, survey of 2018, the figure of 15 million conservative. It's actually slightly more because when you say 14.3 million Nigerians between the ages of 15 and 64 are using drugs, what about those before? Because now kids use drugs from primary, mm -hmm. primary school, kids, primary school, secondary school. These are the ages, and 65 and above. What about them also? If you factor them in, you'll be approaching something higher mm. than even the 15 million. But when you say 15 million are using drugs in Nigeria, it means 185 are million are not. not. So prevention is really the key. That's the first focus, prevention. Because there was a story that came on Instagram, and I'll keep it short, where once a celebrity, very notable, popular celebrity said, everybody in Nigeria smokes. So why are, we make, why are we banning it? We are being hypocritical. And that statement was not addressed in the way it should be. How, are, how is the NDLEA trying to deal with these people who have capacity to influence millions, millions. at the same time? They are role models, is it not? Yes. And so our youth learn from these people. Mm, and when sadly. they do things, um, the youth copy. Mm. They feel that's the right thing to do. We're engaging them. Uh, some of them actually need counseling themselves mm. and treatment. Maybe because of stigma, a few are shy. But I take this opportunity to say that, you know, the drug, drug use is bad. We've always said that. Ultimately, it kills. Whoever is trafficking in it, not using now, mm. but trafficking, whoever he is, will get him in Nigeria. We, we don't agree to that, we don't support that, and we will arrest, seize, and prosecute. That's as far as that's concerned. But use, we will help them. It's a health issue, we will help them, especially the role models. We are already yeah. having meetings with mm. some of the celebrities, both in the South and in the North. Right. Prevention, as I said, is better than cure. Mm. So we are facing prevention through advocacy. First, from the family. It's very important. This year, the president launched the war against drug abuse in June, on June 26th. And the focus is advocacy, preventive. Families have to be very clear about their responsibilities. Parenting. Parents must set the tone and example. When you send your kids to buy cannabis <laughs> across the street, what lesson are you teaching him? One day he's going to say, let me just try this thing small, that my mom is always to see what, what it is. And from there, he could get hooked. So parenting. And children, parents should take very good care to the best of their ability, show love to the children, commitment, mm -hmm. feed them well, look after the children, and keep an eye on the behavior of your kids. Mm -hmm.